So I found this game yesterday called The Slower Speed of Light, made by MIT. And this has blown my mind. So I, I felt compelled to make a, a little kind of a show how-to video um, of the game. So what it is, it's a first-person simulation of the special relativistic perceptions that we would have as humans if we were traveling at close to the speed of light. Now, I've been studying uh, Einstein's theories, uh, relativity, time travel, things like that since I was a kid. So for the past like 25 years probably I've been studying this and in my mind, in my mind I can actually visualize most of what this game does, but I've never in my life seen anything interactive that really gives the feel for the changes that would happen if, if you were to travel near the speed of light. So I'm just going to give a quick kind of once over on what's going on. So this game basically starts off in sort of regular world. The physics are, are what we would consider to be more natural. And as we pick up these little orb things, little watermelon looking things, the world becomes more what they call relativistic, more transformed. Um, but again, it's a perception of transformation. The world doesn't really transform in the real universe. But what this is showing is what our brains might record during a trip through the universe if we were able to travel at near the speed of light. And um, the, the second half of this video will go into detail what is actually happening. And I, uh, so you can fast forward to about, what, about two minutes and 35 seconds into this and it'll tell you what's going on. This is the end of the game right here. I picked up all the orbs and now what we're seeing is a visual representation of near light speed travel um, with all of the color effects removed because those crazy psychedelic color effects would actually be blinding at this point. Um, this is simply just the Lorentz transformation which is the, the perception that objects bend and warp and distort. So. I'm going to leave it to my good friends David and Zira for the rest of it and um, uh, take it away, fellas. Relativistic Doppler effect. Light behaves like a wave and different wavelengths appear as different colors. As you and other objects move around, the wavelength of light changes, appearing redder or bluer to your eyes. Some light becomes infrared or ultraviolet, which your eyes cannot usually see and other invisible sources of light will become visible. Search light effect. Light also behaves like a stream of particles called photons. When you run towards a stream of photons, more photons hit you and the object becomes brighter. This effect is also known as relativistic aberration. Special relativity. Light always moves at the same speed, so if the speed of light is constant, then the distances and times in the world around you have to warp. Your time is different from the time in the world, time dilation, and your distances are different from the distances in the world, Lorentz transformation. You have to be much closer to the speed of light to notice the more dramatic effects of Lorentz transformation compared to the Doppler and search light effects. At the end of the game, the Doppler and search light effects are removed to make the Lorentz transformation easier for you to see. Runtime effect, normally. Light is extremely fast, but it still takes time for photons to reach our eyes. When you look at anything, you are actually observing incoming light from some time in the past. The farther you look into space, the further you look into history. This is easily noticeable when you look at objects moving relative to yourself. Objects normally beyond your field of view can become visible when you move near the speed of light, as you see them as they were in the past.